Look at the light in the building. Keep watching. One on one with the daughter. G H. Ah ah ah. Don't be you that give me to make a truck, yeah. yeah. Don't be you that give me place make a bed, yeah. Don't be you. Hello guys and welcome to another exciting episode of One Moment on that TGH. Right here on One Moment on that TGH, you know how we are going to do But before we go straight to this interview, kindly do me a favor, subscribing to this channel to catch up to current episode of One Moment on that TGH. Today, I have another interesting media person. When it comes to dancing in Ghana, is number one. Before we go straight to this interview, this show is probably brought to you by Tampa Sneakers, The Dog Restaurant, Star Strike Beauty, and Chance Bar. Hello, Ziggy. What's up? Welcome What's up? to One on One to that age. Thank you, thank you. So tell me, why the name Incredible Ziggy? Um, the name Incredible Ziggy, I had this name when I was making a freestyle, the Akramo. Akramo? Akramo, yeah. Akramo, I'm known, okay. Yeah. Right. I'm known for dancing on the street, so when I was dancing, making a freestyle, and this white guy was like, yo, you're incredible, incredible. So everybody knows me to be Ziggy already. Ziggy. So I just had to create an Instagram profile. Name Incredibles. So the Ziggy is your real name, right? No, 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 it's my nickname. I had it from school way back. Okay. When I got to Form 1, there was this senior called mm. Wa Ziggy. Which school? Odegono Senior. Odegono. Oh, that's great. So great to start. Great to start. Oh, cool. right. <laughs> so yeah, there was this senior called Wa Ziggy. Mm -hmm. And when I went to Form 1, they said I danced like him. A Form 1 boy dancing like the Form 4 guy who is very serious. Yeah. So I was like, yo, then why don't we give you the name Little Ziggy? Mm -hmm. So I was having this name from Form 1. Then when he completed, I became the main Ziggy. I had a little Ziggy following me, so yeah, that's how I came about. So you're a dancer? I'm a dancer, professional dancer. I'm living wow. on dance, so yeah. I see, I see. So, what has been the drive? Um, concerning? A dance. Um, I've been dancing on the street for long. Like, I had, I lost my mom before going to SHS. Oh, my so, condolence. Yeah, and it's been so hard. Like dancing, nobody encourages you. But at what age did you start dancing? I started dancing from young. Like, I've been dancing 15 years professionally now. Wow! Yeah. That's quite a long time. So like, it's so much special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> professional, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, great. I've been dancing on the street. Like, people wouldn't encourage you to do it. But I just took my drive, like, going on my own, mm -hmm. gradually, gradually. And now that people see things happening, they're beginning to support. So yeah. If I heard you right, you are doing it on your own. On my own. So tell me, what were the challenges that you were facing? Um, sometimes you go for a program, mm -hmm. you wouldn't get transport to go. Oh. I only had my brother who was supporting me, like he gave me some money. Oh. Yeah, no transport. Sometimes I can walk and go to the National Theatre to go dance when I'm coming home. Because I'm known. People think there's yeah, a lot so of money in by you and stuff. <laughs> and then I'll say, oh, make you no know, buy I'm like, carry me at, at the table that I used to buy the car. You know, it's small, small. We <laughs> out here right now. The hustle is real. The hustle is real, Charlie. But now you're a star. Right now, I've been able to travel around with dance to go wow. teach wow. in Russia. We'll come, we'll come to that. So I want you to take me more into your high school days. So you went fresh, form yeah. one. Mm -hmm. You were named after a form four guy. So t yeah. take me through the journey. Okay, when I went to form one, just the first week of orientation. Mm -hmm. They said like if you have talent, come do what you got wow. to do. And I came to do something and I went viral wow. like from that time. So everybody knew me in the school, zig zig, there's a small boy who can dance, there's a short boy who can dance. And then gradually, gradually, I I complete no, at the form three, like yeah. form three, mm -hmm. we had um, the high school best male dancer and all that. Yeah. So I won for my school, other wow. best male dancer. Then National Theatre, they organized Ghana International, like Ghana Best you know, Dancer, yeah, high school, the whole high schools. So they selected a few dancers from different different high schools, like the SEC, yeah. the school, like yeah. inter yeah. school, yeah. Inter schools, yeah, that's the word. And I was part of them. I won that award, like, wow. yeah, the year 2015. So you won at home, and you won, and won at home, and I won, like, in the school. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So people with the end there, because you know Ghana here, people yeah. say, I saw in Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I didn't give up. I was still pushing, 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 making videos, setting my phone on the floor, taking one minute, one minute videos. Wow. Then Instagram came in, so I had to create an Instagram account, that's posting one minute, one minute, telling people to tag their friends to come watch it, yeah, yeah. gradually, and boom. Yeah. So, during that period, did you have any form of low moments? 
where probably be like, ah, this time I'm doing it all alone. People are not helping me. I want to stop. Okay, for me, the way I see dance, I don't think that's how people see dance. Okay. So even in my hard moments, I still want to do it. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, that's that's. The so point. we never stop dancing. And like I went on some kind of hibernation. That you know what? I want to take a break. Go no. back and. My motive is to just do it. Like people always say, no one has made it with that. So I want to prove them wrong. So that's that's always been my motive, not to listen to what people are saying. People even say I should switch and act small music because the way you dance is you can't make it. But I want to do it, and gradually I'm proving them wrong. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I really, I mean, proving them wrong. Yeah. Okay, so talking about um, high school, mm -hmm. I mean, you shared some memories talking about how you won the award and inter schools and stuff. But I want you to share with me two extra memories that you will never forget. If somebody wakes you up and say like Charlie Ziggy, <laughs> you're the Kai High School. Yeah. Just tell me something. Like just I mean Um I remember one entertainment in school, yeah. I was supposed to perform. I was supposed to perform and I had this performance that I would I would send a mattress on stage. Wow. Yeah, they would and I see a very creative guy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I would send a mattress on stage, they turn off the lights. So when they turn it on like I'll be there was this Obafo song. Sorry, I'm not proud of my name, my brother, boom, one of them. Yeah. yeah. So I took the mattress on stage. I told the DJ my song. And then I was waiting, waiting, waiting for the song. Hey! The DJ didn't play the song. They turned on the light. Everybody was shouting. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, wow. So that day, I can, I, I can never so play. So then he never played. He never played. Like, other songs. He couldn't even find the song. Oh. So they moved to me and they're like, ah, you carry your song with the DJ. I can't give up. I was, I was <laughs> the <laughs> Hey, yeah, well, it was a topic of the whole week. Oh. Like, we were talking about me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Famous. Oh, so famous. I was famous on campus. The day students will come, and they'll be like, ah, you hear Ziggy and Yawa. You hear Ziggy. So I was, oh, child. I was oh, all about it. So everybody knows that Yawa. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. and I remember. But before you go, how did you, I mean, quickly turn the Yawa like? I mean, because it's very difficult for you to come on stage again because I was going to fall. Oh, I'm known, I'm known on campus, so they always wanted to see something new for me. So even though that thing happened, they still wanted to see that something. Thing happened. But then they really got your back. Yeah, so there But there are some people, I mean, maybe you flop, you can't go back again. Yeah. You know, it's like <laughs> the end of your career. <laughs> yeah, so the second one was um, Mr. and Mrs. Osa. That was so after that yeah, well, I didn't talk hey, about that. Still going. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, 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 more things are happening. Oh, you guys should check cool. out that school. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Osa, I didn't perform for some time now. Like so when the Mr. and Mrs. Osa came in, I had to perform. Oh. It was a surprise. Nobody knew I was gonna perform. Okay. Then I showed up on stage, like yo, the crowd was like people were crying. Ah like that experience was serious. Like that was the first it time I could dance. No, it was a love song. I can't really remember. The lady yeah, it was <laughs> yeah, the lady is um Sakode and if you have Bonia me here we need Charlie that Charlie. song. Yeah. yeah, so that song like people were crying. Hey. That's one of the moments I can never entertainment, you can't go to entertainment if Ziggy is not performing. People wouldn't go. Really? Yeah, the phone force to say, Ah, you did perform. If you know they perform then it go bad for them. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But then one thing is that they didn't used to support me when I'm going out. So ah, they all relax. They relax. So I used to do it on my own. I'll jump, I'll flip the wall and go to other schools oh, for know, freaks. Right? Yeah. For freaks. Nobody will follow me and shout you or ziggy ziggy or whatever. No. Charlie, so you know in other schools. How do you go about it? Because I mean, yeah, it's not easy own. going solo away. I mean, it'll be, be few. You, know, yeah. you don't know the terrain. Yeah. When you go there, you want to still make your school proud. At least you should have some kind of support. I wear the Friday wear. Mm -hmm. And I go alone. I'll flip the word and go alone. I'll dance. So they'll see, oh, he's from Odogono. You might not know my name, but then you know there is some Odogono. So you even have a right hand man. No, some nobody. Nobody. They're scared. Yeah. They're scared to go with me. And, but then in other schools, when someone is dancing, you see boys shouting, yo, Odogono. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, I was known for doing hip hop dance. Yeah, it was it? There was nothing like. But you played hip hop high school. Yeah, I was doing hip hop. So right after high school, right after how were you able to when we sort yourself out and break out like? The whole Ghana, people like, hey, incredible music. Have you seen that guy? That guy is dope. Yeah. Check him out here. How? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm someone who got like influenced. Like I influenced the people out there who like dance too. So posting this hip hop videos on my Instagram I was like, yo, there are more people who do the hip hop better than we do. Like hip hop is their culture. Yeah, the outside world. Yeah, the culture. high life and. Ours is high life, uh, Afro beat, Azunto. So why don't I do Azunto so that they'll come learn from us? So you're doing hip hop? I was doing hip hop, yeah, okay. on Instagram. But then I'll get like 300 views. Then I tried Azunto, like Afro dance. Okay. I got 1,000 views. Like, wow. I was like, yo, then why, why don't I do the Afro beat? Because this is ours. Uh -huh. We're attracting them to come learn from us. Yeah. So I started posting Afro beats, like Azunto, Azunto, and then the views started climbing. Like you, then I'm gonna keep doing that one yeah. and mix hip hop once in a while so they know oh I'm still alive at that side too. That's good. Gradually, I created this new dance step called Pilolo. Pilolo. Yeah, Pilolo. Big up, big up, big up, big up. Thanks, bro. I created that dance step. Um, Pilolo, everybody knows here in yeah. Ghana, Pilolo is a game like hide and seek stuff. So I got inspired by that game. So you move, like you change directions, like you hide here, hide there. So I used a movement. In a way, in a running movement to make it out of dance, like to make dance out of it. That, so I that came up with my dance that. step, <laughs> and with my, with the help of my brothers, Perby, Mr. Showtime, Anna, they helped me make a video. Mm -hmm. And then when I when I posted in a dance group, we had a dance group chat. Okay. I posted there, you, I got some new dance called Pilolo. Pilolo. Oh, people people were criticizing me. <laughs> They're like, oh, Pilolo, they same person. <laughs> Like yo, you know, black man or yeah, black black man. Man. just shift it. Then I stopped I stopped typing in that group for a while. Oh. And then people oh, were doing the challenge. Vibe. My challenge was going by people were doing it all around the world. Okay. Even the video made a video saying pillow look. I know that. But I relax, was doing relax, that. Relax. Mr. was doing my pillow look dance step. Okay. I sent him I sent him to the group and now people were saying Hey, oh, you got the guys video that give me shout out like oh. Congratulations because the, the video went um, the dance went viral uh -huh. and even Global Grind. Wow. It's an international yeah. article, yeah. They wrote something about my pillow dance. That's great. And then it went viral. Big, big moves. Yeah. And I came up with a new one called coupe. Okay. So share with me how did the coupe dance um, the coupe challenge? The coupe the coupe dance itself. I was rehearsing with my friends at Usu, Oxford okay. Street around that side. And then I was lost in a freestyle. I was just doing it and I came up with a move. Like I was trying to threaten my fellow dancer, like, yo, you know go fit in the dentist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I was like, ah, why am I threatening? Why don't I switch it in a way to promote peace? Mm -hmm. So doing this, instead of this, yeah. I showed the peace, peace sign, sign. Yeah. to promote peace in the society. So I launched the, this dance. And then I told one of my guys, he's called A-Star, the guy who sang the Coupe song. Okay. He's in UK. He's yeah. an underground artist. He's a Ghanaian, right? He's a Ghanaian. I, I don't know why the French people. Oh, yeah, the yeah, French people are claiming the. They're claiming a song on it. That yeah. is not, it's not theirs. So it's I told him Ghanaian from yeah. Ghanaian origin. Yeah, it's like from here. Yeah. I told him. I texted him on Instagram. It's like, yo, what's up? I don't want to make you do some song to my new challenge that they want to bring. I'm I people know I'm. I'm. No, I'm known for bringing challenges, and it goes viral. So when I told him, he didn't hesitate. Okay. But like, oh, okay, how make I pronounce them? Like, how should I pronounce it? I showed him how to pronounce it. Coupe. I told him around 19th July. 19th July, wow. 19th that's... July. And then he got back to me on record. Like, 31st July. I remember everything. Like, I've got chats and everything. That's great, that's great, that's great. He got back to me 31st July with the song, and I was like, yo, this song is mad. It's mad. It's mad. <laughs> <laughs> and like, yo, he would do the finishing touches, then he sent it back to me. That's great. So he did everything, then he sent it back to me, and I released my Coupe dance challenge, like my Coupe challenge. Officially on 10th August on my page, I released it with my choreo and everything. I brought it out there. Mad views, mad views. I think about 50,000. Yeah, views. it's like 65,000. 65, 65, wow, 65, that's great. That's great. That's then he started reposting, then he got the wide audience. I guess he owes you. But he's going on tour right now. He's going to okay. Canada to occupy Germany tour, and I mean, Ghana. You know, but why is he not taking you? Black man. Black man, I mean, you know. <laughs> Or maybe because he's underground, he can't really do stuff now. So 
I'm trying to understand. I mean, you, you help them. He got up for your video. I don't think he would have cut yeah, across the band. He didn't even think of making a coupe song. I gave him, like, the brain to say, oh, he should do the coupe song for me. He knew nothing about coupe. I showed him everything. He's got, like, one million views on YouTube. He's got one million streams on Spotify. Like, he's gone. He's blown. Ziggy. He said it's called Insta. 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 If you're watching one of that DJ, you owe this guy. <laughs> this guy is an incredible guy. Insta. What's up? What's up? Sorry. Alright, alright. So, would you say dance pays or not? Oh, yeah. Na- it depends. It depends on who you are. Because with someone like me, I've worked so hard for it. So, you can't give me just any price. All right, so, you wouldn't see me in most of the videos right now because I don't want to be treated like any other dancer. They don't want to pay much. If you see me in a video, then I've really got some amount there. I want to know. You have a lot of high moments. If I say you didn't share with me your high moments, <laughs> but I want you to share with me one high moment that you're like, nah, Charlie, I've reached this particular gate there. I've reached. <laughs> Nobody can stop my shine. Oh, for for now, I don't I don't say I've like I've reached. Mm-hmm. I still see myself to be learning. Mm-hmm. Learning, alright. Yeah, the moment you see yourself that you've reached, you relax. You become lazy. Yeah, you become lazy. So, yeah, I, I get DMs from Davido and there are more artists, more blue takes in my DM. Mm-hmm. But then you can't say because you're getting that attention, you relax. You relax. Relaxing. But I'm still working hard. I want to get to a point where they would see me to be like, yo, you are off my... Yes, exactly. Because if they don't see you doing something extra, it would not attract them to DM you or anything. Yeah. I remember the time the video DM me. If it were to be somebody, somebody would be like, "Hey, you know what I'm Yeah, when you DM me, I was surprised. I was just watching. I went to click it, and I was like, "Hey, you took." He he sent sap. I was like, "Hey," <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't shout to him to tell everybody. Hey, hey, somebody hey, that no, that like, DM me and stuff. If if greatness happens, you don't need to spread it out. Yeah, that's true. You need to see to what what's about like what it is about. Yeah. Then you can move a step to the like the one rule is never to tell your your brother man the next move. So you know you fix everything, then you can brief the person on it. Yeah. But you still you still should have a most successful moment. Like oh, okay, when I'll say when I went to Russia, it was one of the No we will we'll come we'll come together <laughs> because that experience the experience is yo it's, it's it's mad, it's mad from the streets to Russia. Alright, so I wanna talk about music videos. Have you written lots or is just um a few a few yeah and which acts have you have you worked with? I'm Pato Rankin. Pato went Rankin. to shoot the available in Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay. And I felt was it the first time you moved outside Ghana? No, it wasn't the first time. It wasn't the first time I've moved. You've moved outside Ghana. Yeah, I moved Where, to what was Nigeria it? itself like a couple of times. But not yeah. for Pato Rankin. Not for Pato Rankin. So what, what do you have in Nigeria though? Oh, we have Nigeria. Yeah, oh, that's great. So that's great. I've been going to Nigeria. Okay. okay. And then I went to um, Nigeria for Pato Rankin ah. shoot. And then I've worked on the official, official going yeah, outside going to, dance. to dance. But not going for a visit. Okay. Yeah. They paid more well, though. Like they support dance than here. Yeah. But Ghana, say, so we can give you 200. Give you 200. Let's give you 50 Ghana. That way, I'll then force them to come be in the video. You see, what about Nigeria? They respect their they respect artists. They respect the, yeah. They respect talent. They respect their talents. They respect talent. When I traveled outside, I saw that you, Africans, we have, we have joking. Hey, they respect the art. I was treated like a king, like I was hell. <laughs> the experience. I, I know, I know, I know. The but experience. Nigeria. Yeah. Did you meet any competition there? Do no, we have good dancers? We're like, no. Can you say that Ghanaian dancers are where we are? Just that they are not getting the necessary support or push. And I'll say there is competition out there, but they know we are good too. But the reason I'll say there is competition is that for the ladies, mm-hmm. but for the guys, we are good. Yeah, oh, okay. We guys from Ghana, we are very good. We are very good. So we can match the Nigerians. We can YouTube. match. Yeah, yeah. They, they are all about. They are not versatile. They are all about their circle. Their circle. Yeah, okay. we we are all learning right. every year all around. But the ladies in Nigeria, they are energetic. Mm-hmm. They have no excuses when it comes to dance. But when it comes to Ghana, oh, some girls say, "Chala, they say so." They say, <laughs> like they got small, small excuses, and that really didn't go far because Nigerians. Yeah. When they are dancing, no matter their mood, they make the energy like the same energy. They move the same way. Nobody will be moving. The, no, they know what they're about. Okay. So when it comes to dance out there and here, I'll say the Nigerians are doing better with the females. 
international. But the meals we are going. Start Nigeria. Why next? Yeah, Nigeria. I've been to Russia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, let's come to the Russia. Go ahead. No, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to Russia. Tell me the Russia experience. How did the gig come about? Um, you know, I've been dance. I've been making freestyles with my woman, and then one of the freestyles we made, and she also posted on her page. So on her page, she's also got Russian people watching. Mm -hmm. So they they asked her to. Is she a dancer? Yeah, she's a dancer. To buy oh, dancing dancer. is not her profession. She's just doing it for fun. Right. And then she made the video. She posted it, and then some dance company there said, "Yo, that guy is good. I want you to bring him. Like we need him to come over." And she told me, "I thought it was a joke." It was like for real. They really needed me. Really needed you. Yeah, and it was great. The experience was great. Like in the. So when I got to the airport, oh, when I got to the airport, I looked around. Yeah. <laughs> the weather was there. The weather was cold. I couldn't even type. I was trying to take snaps, but then my my fingers. I couldn't even type. I was like, yo, I reached on you hey, from the streets. From the streets of Accra, Jamestown. Hey, I was feeling great. I was feeling great and. I slept in a five-star hotel, everything, the food I want to eat, and I'm traveling, like they pay everything, like they pay anything I want, supermarket, they get me food, I mean, I was living like a king over there, Sorry. they respect art, so coming all the way from Africa, it was a different vibe, they see me to be yo, this professional guy, you need to treat him, but here in Ghana, if they see you dance, they'll see like, oh, you do some cool dancers with, you see they're thinking of, Ghanians. I want I want Ghanaians to change that thinking. Yeah. Because the very moment you start to support your own, you can do more. Is it right now? Floor. Just flow. Just yeah. Because right now we are doing more. I've gone I've gone viral with the coupe dance. Okay. A, a couple of pages wrote about me. Post Ghana wrote an article about me. I think modern Ghana also. Yeah. yeah. Modern Ghana. I mean, uh, Deborah. And, and that is also writing. Yeah. That is GH is like going to write an article about me. Most them. Most them. I'm going to do. Yeah. And first I also posted me. That's good. First, I made a news about me, like I'm the main brain behind the coupe dance. That's, 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 that's a struggle. Yeah, and yeah, a couple of people have written articles about me. And Global Grind again wrote an article about me when Jeanette Jackson did my PLO and coupe dance. Jeanette Jackson? Jeanette Jackson. <laughs> it was amazing. I was there one evening, it was midnight rather. I was surfing the net, and I kept on getting tags, I kept on getting mentions. Mentions. I went to check, I was like, hey. Jenna Jackson did my Jackson, dance on know. Jimmy Fallon's show. Like it's one of the US one big, of the big shows. Big shows. Big shows. Yeah. I know, right? I got videos on my phone to prove. I mean, this is very are tagging me. Oh my god, Jenna Jackson did your dance. You know, I was watching the film and I was, I teared up. Like I was crying because I used to look up to Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson died, and it's so crazy how come his sister has now recognized what I'm doing down down from Africa. Like wow. it's so amazing. So I mean, so, so, so bottom line, you will say that the white respect talent, right? Yeah, they respect talent. Because they a lot, and they pay a lot. They pay a lot. They pay a lot because the class I was being paid. I went to teach in Saint Petersburg, and I went to Moscow, and they really paid. They paid like they made me feel like, hey, yeah. you can make a living out of dance. So when I came back to Ghana, I didn't give up at all. So when I came back, I've been pushing hard, pushing hard, waiting for another opportunity. And yeah, I'm wow. going to be dancing. I'm going to be teaching Azonto in Jamaica this November. Wow! And I got a UK tour. That's some upcoming events. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, upcoming. So yeah. they should watch out. Should so watch I mean, I mean, um, Ziggy. Yeah. What was we growing up? Did, did anybody whom you in form of dancing? Like, oh. did, did you have anybody teaching you? Uh, at least, oh, Ziggy, do I'm so? If you do I'm so, I would be. Oh no no no. But there are some names to mention. Oh yeah, I can mention Ghana. Ghana. I can mention tablets, he's no more dancing. I forgot to mention his name. Tablets. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy guy. Tablets. Tablets. Tablet. Tablet. I, was, I like. Tablets. Have you still with him? Yeah, once in a while. Once in a while. Tablet. Tablet was top dancer. Tablet was top dancer. That guy was wild. He was wild. <laughs> Tablet. I've seen there. I've danced with so many dance schools, so I learned. He learned from them. Yes. And if you are somebody who is not ready to learn, you never elevate. So, I'm, I'm patient, like. I learn, and I don't know them. Well. I tell you, chairman, how you do that move? No matter how famous I am at that time, I'll just tell you, more me the thing. I learned from um, Gasconi, 
it's not learning like he's teaching me. Like you notice something about him, you pick yeah, it. Take it. Yes, exactly. That's yeah. how I learned from everybody, and here I am now. Challenge chest to business. Chest, chest to business. <laughs> Greatness, greatness. Yeah, that's my word. I use that word. <laughs> Chess is business. Yeah, yeah. We are very, I mean, incredible guy. Mm-hmm. Your name says it all. All right. You said your mentor is Michael Jackson. Yes. Do you look up to him? I look up to him. Aside Michael Jackson, are there other people that you look up to? Um, I would say Asha. Asha. Yeah, I would say Asha. I wouldn't say Chris Brown because. I remember in the article on Global Grind, I said, I look up to Chris Brown. And they were like, I should change it. Maybe his reputation, his reputation over there is different from oh, what we've seen here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I would say Asha is doing great. And Beyonce, Beyonce too has eyes for Africans. So I'd like to work with Beyonce one day. All right, great. Yeah. Okay, you like to work with Beyonce. So that's Beyonce. the brand that you want yeah, to work with? Yeah, that's the brand. All right, good. Cool. So I want you to name your top three celebrities, Ghanaian celebrities. To limit it to Ghana, but I know if I yeah, yeah, musicians or oh, celebrities, it can be actors, actresses, mm-hmm. musicians. Um, out here, I'm gonna say Nana Banamwa, Nana Banamwa, wow, like that woman, yeah. And I'll say if you if you if you so Nana Banamwa, if you and the male, mm, it used to be Majid, but then he switched the. He's out of the game, so I'm going to say Stoneboy. 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 I really want to work with Stoneboy. I want you to act like one of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I had a spot to speak part of them. I would try to. I want to give a freestyle. I can't speak part of them. Like a, just a song, like Stoneboy's song, like part um, of your favorite. Okay, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to sing this one. Why some people wicked so? I mean, no. Why some people wicked so? Stone boy. Yeah, that's the song. That's right. good. That's good. Yeah. I also love that song. Yeah. And Ziggy, a fan of movies. Um, no, I don't like movies. I would no, rather watch movies. dance videos and widen up my eyes on how to go about my dance steps, how to fix everything. Yeah, I would rather watch dance videos rather than movies. Movies wouldn't help me in any way on what I'm doing, so I wouldn't waste time. Yeah, that's the kind of person I am. I'd rather dedicate time to what I'm doing right now, so I earn than to waste time and do something else. Okay, so how patriotic is Ziggy? Um, Ziggy is not that um, patriotic. Uh-huh. I don't pay much attention to that side. But you said you're half Ghanaian, half yeah, Nigerian. Like so are you more Ghanaian and less Nigerian um, or more Nigerian and less? Okay, that is from the Ghanaian side, so mom is from Nigerian side, so I'd say I'm Ghanaian, but I do go to Nigeria a lot. Right. So I want you to recite a national pledge, a Ghana national pledge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I do used to do all that. Okay, but I can help you. I can help okay, you. Help me. I promise on my hand uh, to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. I pledge myself to the service of Ghana with all my strength and all my heart. From this to the Holy Nice team, I ate it one for us with the blood into our fathers. And I put myself in all things for our good and friend, the good of Ghana, so we got it. Challenge, do everything, make up. I mean, it's not so easy. easy. It's not easy. <laughs> you move from yeah. one country to another, yeah, so yeah, yeah. those kind of things are bound to happen. So, I want to name your top three dancers in Ghana. Yeah, in Ghana. Um, In Ghana, I'm going to say. I know you're number one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say my, myself. <laughs> I'm number one. And I'm gonna give it out to my fellow dancer out there, mm-hmm. Dance God Lloyd. He's also doing great with the academy out there. That's and I'll say the third guy, Mr. Shota. Mr. Shota. Yeah, he's also doing great. Yeah. That's great. That's great. So talking about, I mean, you know, there's a lot of um, unemployment. The youth in unemployment, mm-hmm. like there's high with the unemployment in Ghana. Yeah. So what what do you think or what is your take? On the youth now venturing into entrepreneurship. Um, well, you're an entrepreneur, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's good to follow your dreams. You know, when we're kids, they would let us go to school, go learn a lot of stuff. But even out there, they don't learn more like the way we are learning out here. Out there, you learn maybe this time we learn this. That's the paper you're writing on. We don't do learn a lot like past learning. Yeah, they are really stressing us. They are stressing us. 
So we are home. We are home. We are home. So small question. Oh, Charlie. So, oh my goodness. Um, I'll advise them. I'll advise parents not to go hard on their children too much because you don't know where they are takers. Out there, when they born a child right now. They give the child like so many toys to play with. The one the child plays with the most, they groom the child with that. So maybe the child is anyway, maybe wires or drum stick, they will help the child become the best drum. Yes. So that's how it goes. For my talent, I followed my talent from childhood. I used to dance at parties when I was a kid, they throw money at me. And all that. I still went to school. School is very important here in Ghana. So don't forget, school is very important. Don't follow us don't watch us out there and think we just we just didn't go to school and we came out like yeah. that. No, you need to go to school. Yeah. You need else you'll be cheated. Yeah. For real. So you need school but then don't forget your dream. That's what I would say. Yeah. And I know you've won some awards. Mm-hmm. You talked about high school, Adogono and also the inter- yeah. high school competition. Are there any awards that you've won or any um, other nominations that you've won? Um yeah, right now we got this new award coming up like GH Best Dancer have been nominated. Okay. Last year I was nominated, but I wasn't awarded. But this year, I believe so strongly I'm going to be awarded okay. because I've danced too much. Well, Mr. Elbows, incredible. Thank you, thank you, bro. Is that the only one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only one coming up. Ghana here, Ghana, so we don't pay attention so much to dance. So this one is coming up, I'm sure. That's good, that's good. Yeah. So show me your Jamaica project. Let's okay, the something. Jamaica project, yeah, it's about 17 African countries. Mm-hmm. 17 African countries are going to be there. And 50 genres of dance style. Wow. And I'm representing Ghana, teaching at Zunto. The only guy from Ghana who is going to be teaching there. Big! So, big. we got big dancers like Tight Eyes coming through, Kafi Dance from Nigeria. There are more celebrity dancers out there who are going to be around. So, I feel this is a great opportunity for me to be part of this, representing Ghana. I'm going to be Ghana proud. And the UK tour? Yeah, the UK tour um, was supposed to come on this December, mm-hmm. but it collided like with the um, Jamaica, November, December. December. So I'm trying to push this one early January or end of. Yeah, I'm trying to make a different day for UK. So UK, sure. watch out, we coming. That's good. That's good. So tell, what does the future hold for um, ZB? Okay, right now to about um, this new dance step coming up called Open and Close. I call grab the dance for Mr. Easy. So it's going to come out this night of November. So watch out for that dance step. I created it. It came from me here. So watch out for that one. And then more projects coming up next year. We are going for an African tour. I'm going to South Africa, Kenya, then Ivory Coast. So watch out, watch out, watch out. That's great. Viewer, before Ziggy goes, he's going to create a dance for me. I have a song for him. And the song is for the Christmas, for the festive season. Gee, come Ziggy here. is going to create a song and this song and the dance is going to go viral. So I'm Jeez. putting him, I'm telling him actually, I'm giving him the challenge, like he takes the challenge then, the people that from there. Sure. So before you go, I want you to, your final words, to drop your social media, and if you want to connect with Ziggy, probably somebody, I mean, is your mentor, like he mentors, like he looks up to you, and he wants to learn from you, how he can reach you, so you can groom that person to be bigger than me. Okay. What's up, what's up, Ghana? It's your boy, incredible Ziggy, with a pillow and coupe dance. I want to tell you all that challenge. Don't give up. Get inspired with what we are doing. Because it doesn't happen just one time. It took like 15 years to get here. Mm-hmm. So don't think there's any shortcut. It's hard work, determination, perseverance. Don't give up on your dreams, challenge. Just keep on. Don't learn blindly. You need school. You need school. School also needs you. Because you can't make it without you can't make it with talent alone. Or else you get cheated. And then, if you want to find more works out there, I have this uh, movement called Afrozik. We help those dancing on the street, because I came from the street, so I shoot free videos for them, like talents out there. I find gigs for them to perform, to earn something, to make a living, because they're dancing on the street. I know where I came from. And that's where you can find me, at Afrozik, A-F-R-O-Z-I-G, on Instagram or social media. And then at Incredible Ziggy, Incredible, and then Ziggy, Z-I-G-I, no underscore, on all social media, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, everywhere, YouTube, you can find me there. So watch out, watch out, watch out. Charlie, all right, Ziggy, it's been great yeah. having you on one other Thank you, thank you, thank you. Such well, thank you. a pleasure. I'm waiting for my article, though. Oh, it's a come, I promise yeah. you. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I see. Okay, so viewers, 
this has been my guest, Incredible Ziggy, oh. one of the best dancers in Ghana and in Africa and even worldwide. Okay, so before we go, please do want to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell so that anytime we drop subsequent episode, you'll be notified and you'll get updated as to what we are up to. Until we come away next week, it's bye for now. Cheers.